K-space is a formalism widely used in magnetic resonance imaging introduced in 1979 by Likes and in 1983 by Gren and Schwieg. In MRI physics, K-space is the 2D or 3D Fourier transform of the MR image measured. Its complex values are sampled during in MR measurement, in a premeditated scheme controlled by a pulse sequence i.e. an accurately timed sequence of radio frequency and gradient pulses. In practice, K-space often refers to the temporary image space, usually a matrix, in which data from digitized MR signals are stored during data acquisition. When K-space is full, at the end of the scan, the data are mathematically processed to produce a final image. Thus K-space holds raw data before reconstruction. Typically, K-space has the same number of rows and columns as the final image and is filled with raw data during the scan, usually one line per TR, repetition time. An MR image is a complex valued map of the spatial distribution of the transverse magnetization MXY in the sample at a specific time point after an excitation. Conventional qualitative interpretation of Fourier analysis asserts that low spatial frequencies, near the center of K-space, contain the signal-to-noise and contrast information of the image, whereas high spatial frequencies, outer peripheral regions of K-space, contain the information determining the image resolution. This is the basis for advanced scanning techniques, such as the keyhole acquisition, in which a first complete K-space is acquired, and subsequent scans are performed for acquiring just the central part of the K-space, in this way, different contrast images can be acquired without the need of running full scans. Thus K-space information is somewhat redundant then, and an image can be reconstructed using only one half of the K-space, either in the P, phase encode, direction saving scan time, such a technique is known as half Fourier or half scan, or in the FE, frequency encode, direction allowing for lower sampling frequencies and slash or shorter echo times, such a technique is known as half echo. However, these techniques are approximate due to phase errors in the MRI data which can rarely be completely controlled, due to imperfect static field shim, effects of spatially selective excitation, signal detection coil properties, motion etc., or non-zero phase due to just physical reasons such as the different chemical shift of fat and water in gradient echo techniques. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.